Today we're catching some flounder, man. I'm not stopping fishing till we catch some flat boys. I got multiple different spots to hit up for those flat boys, and the first spot we're going to, it's an insane opportunity, man. It's a shipwreck barge right up on the jetties, creating some insane structure. It, it, the barge is holding rocks too, so some of those rocks inevitably fell over into the water, creating even more structure. Oh. <sighs> Water's looking pretty wet. Any bites? A few bites. Heck yeah. What up, man? Yeah, I'm gonna steal your fishing spot. Is that cool? All right. I got some shrimp, but if if they're, if they're not buying the shrimp, I'll go cast net some. There it is. Look at the pelicans have took, taken the barge for their own. If the pelicans like it, the fish might like it. Oh really? There's something. Pigfish probably. Pigfish, let's go. That's the problem with shrimp. It does look like there are a lot. Oh. There's a lot of mullet running. So it would not be a bad idea to grab some. Because the shrimp are getting eaten up too quick. Oh wait, that's something better. That's gotta be a red. Holy. Golly, this guy is moving quick. I have not used this rod in a long time. Seven foot rod. <laughs> it gives the fish a lot of power against me. They're not even that big. A little red, okay. Sheesh. Almost got you, bro. You can see, you can see these mullet down here. They're kind of getting crowded up by the barge, and that's exactly why it's gonna be a good spot to fish, I think. We're going through the shrimps quick, but they are getting us a few bites. I had a nice red on, but if we keep losing them, we might have to get some mullet. And like I said, there's a lot of them, so it's not gonna be too hard. Oh my gosh, and we're already getting bit. It's by small guys, though. It is not. Oh, it is red. It's a red. What kind of red hit is that? He's just nibbling on it. That's crazy, dude. These fish, man, they're just getting caught up right here. It's crazy. I, uh, yeah, actually, if you could just hand me it. I got it, I got it. Thanks. Ha, forgot I had a net. Come here, big man. Shoo, we might take a red. There he goes. Oh. There's a guy, he's got, man, he is looking raggedy. Look at that, freaking raggedy looking redfish. Man, he's he's pretty beat up. Probably going in these rocks and trying to get those mullet or whatever else is in there. Yeah, yeah, I okay. saw you here. Um, yeah. if you, did you want this fish? Yeah, I'll take him. Sure. Absolutely. I saw you recording. Thank you. Yes, sir. <laughs> there might be something. There might be something to these shrimps for bait. I might've just discovered something. <laughs> uh, the, right? Oh, shoot. That's a, that's a, that's a big piggy. Holy cow. Ha, <laughs> that's a big guy. Oh, that's a pigfish. What the heck? No, that's a piggy perch. What am I saying? Pinfish. That's a big pinfish. Going to the other side. Damn, that's that's my PB right there. I'm getting eaten alive. Oh wait, no, that's it's got to be a giant piggy or a pigfish. 
Oh, mangrove. What? I'm telling you, boys, shrimp can catch it all, huh? The freaking pinfish, pinfish is bigger than this mangrove. You got a full stomach, too. <laughs> oh, my God. Cool little guy. That's the, that's the thing with shrimp. Sometimes it devolves into micro fishing. But man, you can catch some cool stuff, just like that little guy. If he was a little bit bigger, he'd be good to eat, but not much meat on this guy. We'll let him go back. <laughs> the belly's gonna see him. All right, we're going back in. We got the kill hook and then a one ounce pyramid sinker on a sliding, sliding setup, just on kind of like a Carolina rig. It's not the most luxurious rig, but that's what we got. Oh, it's not mangrove, man. Another one. Holy cow. Mm. What do we got? Another one. Holy cow. They're down there. The smallest one of the day. Mm. We got to get the cast out to get some mully, man. Or <laughs> the shrimps are going too quick. I'm not really in a hurry, but walking's just too slow. You got shrimp? Dude, you literally leave for one second, I got the <laughs> Nice, bro. Right here, come on. Right there. I know. Right there. They're, Good job. they're in my truck. Oh, yeah. I, I didn't bring them, but. There you go. Hell yeah. That was a fighter yeah. right there. There he is. Oh, there he is. On the mullet. I'm trying to horse him. So I might then my hook out to you. The mullet. Finally the mullet pulls through. I got you. Uh, I'll get him, I'll get him. I would feel bad if you got hurt. Oh, come on. It happens. You got that YouTube intro. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Come here, big fella. Woo, this shit, man, the reds are coming through for sure. I, I haven't seen any flat boys, though. So we may have to switch up spots. But man, I, I'm not upset about catching some reds. Man, how powerful is this guy, too? He's not even that big. But he's got some power to him. not even that small. He's bigger than I thought, to be honest with you. Not a bad little guy. He's probably a keeper. Look at the top of his head. Looks like something. I always think that, that those scratches look like another redfish chomping at him. I may be wrong, but that's what it looks like to me. We'll keep him. You know what? We'll, we might get a little bit crazy. I don't know if we're going to catch any flat boys after all. So we'll keep this guy. All right, we're casting in some extra mullet. We're hitting up the second spot. This spot was sick, man. Actually sick. But no flat boys. So we got to switch spots and see if we can find any. All right, one more spot with one more shot for the flat boys. Going in, we got to rig up our classic tandem rig. And you know we already got the gulps. Got the mantis shrimp, new penny chartreuse, and they are very smelly. Now, let's see if we can make it out without dying. I have died here before. Sometimes these rocks get a layer of silt on top of them. That makes them super slippery. No bites, please. About five casts, no bites. It might not be here, to be honest with you. We'll see, though. Might have to switch up and go for some trouts. Fish? It is a fish. We popped it up higher, and we get a trout. Fat, look at it. It's a little guy, but it's fat. That means they're eating. Woohoo! Look at that fat belly. All right, we might have to switch to go for some trout. All right, Gulp, show us you're not worthless. Oh, this is this a giant fish, dude? Is this a giant fish? This, I, what is this? 
It's a fish for sure. It might be a giant flat boy. It, it is. Holy cow. I thought it was snagged up. The gulp. The gulp works. After all, that's a nice fish. Let's land him. He thinks he's a tarpaulin. Shaking his head. Buddy, buddy, buddy. There we go. Sheesh. Woohoo. That's a nice one, dude. I didn't know they existed. Dang, that's a nice fish, boys. The last gulp. I told you, fellas, about the last gulp. You guys think you're so smart. Give me a weight and a length on this guy, and we'll see if you're correct. It's a nice fish right there. Dang, it is a nice fish. Wow, heck yeah. Four, four and a quarter on the weight. Maybe a touch over. Dang, smaller than I thought. It could, it's probably stretched 21, 21 inches. I thought it would be bigger. You guys know the drill too? You catch a flounder, uh, you gotta keep a flounder. That's how it feels like anyway. Sometimes I do release them, but man, it is tough to release them. So we're putting them on the string. <laughs> it's freaking coot, man. It's just hanging out right in front of me. Oh, that's a fish. What is this? Is this a red? Oh, it's a freaking lady, isn't it? What is it, dude? That's a freaking lady. That was so weird, he didn't even jump. You want this for bait? 